subscribe and click the like icon. I sense an aftershock. Huh? An aftershock? Oh, no! An aftershock is a smaller earthquake that happens after a large one. Whoa! Stay away from the trees, rangers. We must look for an open area. Huh? It is just a small one. There should be no more. Phew. I hope not. But we'd better go check on the animals. The mountain gorillas live nearby. We can start with them. Mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas live in forests high up in the mountains. They tend to live in large communities called troops. In fact, there can be as many as 30 gorillas living together. Mountain gorillas are led by the strongest silverback of the group. Silverbacks are male gorillas with a patch of silver hair on their backs. A silverback can be as tall as an adult male. Now let's go find the mountain gorillas. Do you need a lift, Jane? No need, Leo. See you guys there. Wait for us! They're nearby. Wow. wow! Mountain gorillas! They're so calm. It's as if the earthquake didn't happen. I wonder why. Wait a second. That's Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing with the mountain gorillas, Ranger Rocky? Well, I was having a stroll in the forest when the earthquake occurred. There was a huge commotion. It was chaotic. The mountain gorillas were panicking. But strangely, they calmed down once I got there. And now they follow me wherever I go. It seems the silverback leader is missing. So I'm the new leader of the troop. Huh? huh? What? It's understandable. What does their leader do, Ranger Rocky? The Silverback Leader is responsible for the protection of the troop. It's also his responsibility to search for new feeding grounds and lead his troop there. The leader makes all the decisions. Where their home should be, when to eat, and even when to sleep. We have to look for the missing Silverback. Where did you find the gorillas? At a rocky valley down south. Then let's head there to see if we can find anything. Come on, Junior Rangers. Good idea, Leo. I'll wait here and continue to protect the troop. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Over here, Leo. I found something. Oh, no. The earthquake must have caused this. Listen. A mountain gorilla! It's coming from the other side! Wait here, Jane. We'll see what's over there. Jetpack, Jetpack activate! activate. <gasps> we found him! The earthquake must have separated the silverback leader from his troop. He's trapped! <clears throat> so what should we do now? We'll have to clear the rocks and lead him back to the others. But how? Hmm. Aha! If we pull this log out, everything should come tumbling down. Got it, Katie. Thanks, Jane. Ready, Leo? Ready. The leader is a safe distance away. All right, then. Here we go. Great job, Rangers! Huh? I was wrong. There's another one. Aftershock! Quick, let's get out of here! Junior Rangers, did you manage to find the Silverback Leader? We sure did.
Stay on Platypus One, Junior Rangers. Huh? huh? What's going on? The leader is unhappy that Ranger Rocky took over. <gasps> it's a standoff! He is showing respect to the silverback. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Are you all right? I'm just fine, Leo. Good job, Junior Rangers. You've reunited the troop. Yay! We did it! Mission accomplished. <gasps> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. <sighs> Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate Males, in particular, tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. <coughs> Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. <coughs> I found him sitting alone. <gasps> Choo! Oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. <sighs> Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, Proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh, dear. It didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Let's cheer him on, hero. 
Jetpack activate. Oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. <coughs> They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Ugh, what's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. <sighs> it's coming from over there. Hey, you. We're definitely getting closer. It's... Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um... Oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero. It's bath time. Hero, come back. You need a bath. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's new? Hi, Leo. I'm updating my smell collection. I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs. Wow, sounds awesome. It is. I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. We'd be glad to help. Cool beans. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hero's bath will have to wait, Katie. Kai needs our help to find red pandas for his smell collection. Red pandas? I'm sure the computer will give us more information. Red panda. Here it is. Even though they're called red pandas, they don't look anything like pandas. While both pandas share similar names and eat lots of bamboo, they're not closely related to each other. Does it say where we can find them? Red pandas can be found in the eastern Himalayan forests. They spend most of their time in trees. I'll tell Kai about what we found. Hi, Leo. Did you guys find anything? We sure did. Red pandas can be found in the trees of the eastern Himalayan forest, and they eat bamboo. So we'll have to search for a forest with lots of them. Great. I'll narrow down the search and send you a location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hi, Hi Kai. Hi, guys. This is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. <laughs> Ew, what's that smell? A <laughs> uh, hero hasn't had a bath in a while. <laughs> well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. Of course, red pandas. What now? Which way should we go? Do you guys hear that? Is that a red panda? <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. 
I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Red pandas also use their smell to mark their territories. They leave a smell behind to inform others that the area belongs to them. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas. The smell detection vision detects the chemicals present in different animal smells. Right now, it's searching for the red pandas. Got it! Over there, guys! Bye, Ranger Rocky! The smell is strongest here! It's a red panda! Cool beans! Time to get it stink! <gasps> it's headed this way! <gasps> oh, man! It's your new smell bomb! An earthworm! I already have that one! I just want the red panda stink! What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate! Hey, wait for me! Hover boots, activate! It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. But do you smell that? It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai! Yes! The red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Stay away! There's nothing for you in my backpack! Oh no! Katie is in trouble! Uh. What are those animals up to? No worries! The red panda stink would ward them off! One red panda smell bomb coming right up. What's going on, Kai? Where's the smell bomb? It's not shooting. I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with my smell bomb. I'll take that. Hang tight, Katie, and hold your breath. Yay, we did it. Mission accomplished. See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on! Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swamped with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm, that is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is. The hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. Whoa! Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one! There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look, it's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. 
The weather has been a lot warmer this year, and it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would. But what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. I know how we can hurt them. All right. Hang tight, Rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here! Enjoy! Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me! Coming through! Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys! I got you! Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh. Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! <gasps> oh no! We are sinking! What do we do now? Activate flight mode! The wings will keep us afloat! Got it! Platypus One, activate! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Leave it to me, Junior Rangers. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Pardon me. Sorry. Pardon me. Go to Mama. Yay! Now let's get out of here. I love a happy ending. Accomplished. Here's my painting of Hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um, <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. <gasps> oh no! Luckily, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. <sighs> let's find out. M more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is, the plains zebra. Plains zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique, so we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case.
Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Kitty. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Hmm, let's see what else we can find. Ouch, not again. And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites. I got it. It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it. Now I just have to. Done. There is our scanner. Cool. You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Ugh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How are we gonna get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool. It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully, this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers. Jetpack jet activate. activate. <laughs> What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Leo, no! Oops! <laughs> Huh? Oh, no! Jane, we've got trouble! I know! Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it! Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one. We can't keep this up much longer. We need something to stop these zebras. Something to stop them? Way to go, Zumi. We did it. See, told you guys it'd be a snap. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> We are here. Wow, where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh, it's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. 
panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one, the chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one, time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. Oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. for you. Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you Rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero. Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream, but where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue chameleon? Nope, but it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. 
There you go. Home, sweet home. They are friends now. No more fighting. Hero! Hero! Is this thing loud enough? Hero, there you are. Leo, I could hear you all the way across the garden. Really? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Katie. Huh? What do you... I forgive you! <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Leo, I really need your help. I lost Patches. Calm down, Kai. Who's Patches? <sighs> Patches is my sister's pet rabbit. I brought Patches to Rabbit Island to play. Rabbit Island? Yeah, it's an island full of rabbits. <gasps> full of rabbits? That sounds fun. It was fun until I lost Patches. I can't find her anywhere. Don't worry, Kai. The Junior Wildlife Rangers are here to help. We'll be right over. Thanks, guys. See you on Rabbit Island. Ranger out. Rabbit Island is a small island just off the coast of Japan. There are hundreds of rabbits on the island, and it is a popular tourist destination. How did so many rabbits end up on one small island? It is said that all the rabbits came from a small group of rabbits brought there by some children. Oh no! It also says that cats and dogs are not allowed on the island. Oh, dogs are not allowed? Sorry, Hero. You can't come with us this time. <laughs> Look at all the rabbits. I'm in heaven. They're so cute. Can I take you home? Hi, guys. Thanks for hopping by. Anytime, Kai. My sister is going to be so mad if I don't find Patches. Do you have a picture of her? I sure do. Here. I see. Patches is a white rabbit with black patches around her eyes. But Patches is special. There's a patch of fur that's shaped like a heart near her tail. Hmm. There are loads of white rabbits with black patches here. It's going to be difficult to spot a heart. I was hoping Hero could help sniff her out. <laughs> Hero, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Aw, I can't say no to that. I guess you really want to join us. I don't know, Leo. Dogs are not allowed. Please? We need Hero's help. <sighs> Fine. But you'll have to be on your best behavior, Hero. And you'll have to wear a disguise. How about some rabbit ears? <coughs> awesome! Here, Hero. Do you smell patches anywhere? Wait for us, Hero! Uh, I think Hero is a little distracted. No, Hero, stay! It's no wonder dogs are not allowed on the island. How are we going to look for patches now? We can simply use my x-ray vision to see what's happening underground. Great idea! What do you see, Kai? I see lots of rabbits. Let's find some food to lure the rabbits out. Or we can use a carrot smell bomb. It's going to smell like carrots everywhere. The rabbits are going to love it. One carrot smell bomb coming right up. It's working. But we're back to square one. With all the rabbits around, it's impossible to find Patches. Hmm, does Patches respond to anything special? Well, oh, oh, Patches falls asleep when my sister sings her a bedtime lullaby. So, if someone sings a lullaby and a rabbit falls asleep, we'll know that's Patches. But how are we going to sing to all the rabbits on the island? With this, of course. Great idea, Leo. We should be able to spot a sleeping rabbit from here. Ready, Kai? <clears throat> patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Huh? Something's wrong. 
None of the rabbits are falling asleep. Let me try. Patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Nope, no sleeping rabbit either. Are we doing something wrong? What if it has to be a girl's voice? Me? All right, for Patches. Patches, Patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. The rabbits are running away. Was my singing that bad? Look, there's a rabbit asleep. White rabbit, black patches around his eyes, a heart-shaped patch near his tail. Patches! It's her! It's really her! We found patches! Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Katie. That was some awesome ranger work. Thanks, Leo. And just in time, it's my sister calling to check on patches. Can we keep today's mission a secret? <laughs> Legends say that a ferocious river monster lives in the waters right below us. And I'm going to find it. No! I'm not scared! Ah! What was that? Oh! Oh! Um, I think we should go back, Pico. Junior Ranger Pale, what's going on? Hi, Leo. I'm stuck in the middle of a river, and there's a giant monster fish in the water. A giant monster fish? Yeah, here's a picture of it. <gasps> Whoa, it does look scary. I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. And there. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. Oh, no! Please come get me. Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out! Ranger out. Peo! Pico! We're here! Leo! Katie! I'm so glad you found us. Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! You, Peo. Phew! I'm okay. That was close. What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Peo. Ah! Get off my back! Shoot! Ah! Leo, it's over there. Get it! Get it! I know. I'm trying to grab it. Get away from me! I'll get it. Ugh. Is it gone? I think so. Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? <gasps> no! It's worse! Platypus One is sinking! We're sinking! Ah! Oh, no! What should we do? Quick, Leo! Activate submarine mode! Right! I'm on it! Platypus One, activate! really see where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us! <laughs> ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Oh, it's not working. Oh, no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work! What is 
Exit Hero. Whoa! Piranha! Oh, oh no! Not again! Stand back, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! I got it! Back into the water you go! Thanks, Ranger Rocky! I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure! They are river monsters! I don't know about that, but it was really scary! Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas may not be cute and cuddly, but they are also not the monsters that TV shows and movies make them out to be. We've misunderstood them. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. Coming right at you, Katie. I got it. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Katie, are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is. The African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey. I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no. Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important, but baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aw, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. He is dropped. Hang on. We'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh, no! Whew. He is all right. Uh-oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. 
What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the <gasps> hole with water, he can swim out of there. <gasps> Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers. Let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's going to take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes! All right. We did it! <laughs> we turned that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants. elephants! Whoa there! Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? Junior Ranger Kyle, what are you up to today? Hey, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and web feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm going to name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh, wait. There it is again. I'm going to try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm, that animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the Platypus One, can. Sounds like the Platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own Platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus One, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. Rough water's ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh, no! Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm going to throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick. Grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little... Grab my head, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. 
Is everybody all right? You bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Raise your rocky! rocky. Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks, making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help, too. Stand clear. Look, there really was a burrow there. We did it. I hope everything is OK in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family! The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever! I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species! I'm going to call it the Kyla Pillar! <laughs> hey, Leo, what are you looking at? Here, Katie, want to have a look? Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How's it going? Hey, Leo, I was camping on Christmas Island, and the strangest thing happened. Millions of crabs appeared out of nowhere. Millions of crabs? What are they doing? I have no idea. That's why I'm calling, Leo. It looks like they're headed somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Here, let me send you a picture. Wow. wow! That's a lot of crabs. I can run the photo through my computer to look for more information. Sounds great, Katie. I'll get back to you once we find out more about the crabs, Kyle. Ranger out! Ranger out! All right, let's go find out what the crabs on Christmas Island are up to. There it is. It seems those crabs are called the Christmas Island Red Crabs. The Christmas Island Red Crabs? That's right. Based on Kyle's observations, they must be migrating. The red crabs live mainly in the forest, but every year, when the rainy season begins, millions of them migrate to the beach to make babies. Before heading home, the female crabs place their eggs in the sea where they will hatch. Cool. Let me tell Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Leo. Did you find anything? Those are Christmas Island red crabs. They're migrating to the beach to make babies. Hmm. But some of them are going in different directions. What if they get lost? And what if they have to cross the road to get to the beach? <gasps> what if they get hurt? That'd be awful, Kyle. We'll come over to see how we can help guide the crabs safely to the beach. Wow, I've never seen so many crabs in one place. Hey guys, glad you can make it. Hi Kyle. Hi Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Hero is already making sure the crabs move in the right direction. Good job, Hero. What else can we do? I'll just get off right here. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. There are plenty of things you can do to ensure the crabs get to the beach safely and comfortably. It's important to provide the crabs with water to keep their bodies moist as they travel over the land. 
This prevents them from becoming dry as they're exposed to the sun's glare. We can help with that. And I know just how we can get some water on them. Jetpack, activate. Good thinking, Leo. I'll help you turn the water on. Ready when you are. Ready. They're definitely enjoying it. Here you go, crabs. Plenty of water to keep your bodies wet. Let's see what else we can help them with. Look, the crabs have to cross the road to get to the beach. Isn't that dangerous? Not to worry, Kyle. There's an underpass specially constructed to provide the crabs with a safe passage to the beach. Barricades have also been placed to direct the crabs towards the underpass. <gasps> but there's a hole in the barricade! Oh no! Some of the crabs got through the hole! They're headed straight for the road! I'll fix this, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Then we'd better get those crabs back to safety! Carefully! There you go! Just grab onto my boomerang! Okay! You can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh-oh, not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. We can use the jetpack, but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. Amazing. You did it, Katie. Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay! Phew. That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm gonna come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to guide the Christmas Island red crab safely to the beach. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs>